I was out the other night. This is a new thing now when people, I was at, I was at a socially distanced backyard in Los Angeles, which we all know is burning down with COVID. We all know that. And there, it, COVID is real. Disclaimer. It's real. It can be devastating. It's fucked up several people I know. Those are all true things. And this is a little a message for the people that have survived it because I've had enough. I really have had enough now with, I was in a yard yesterday. Two people in the yard had had COVID. Mm -hmm. They hijacked the entire event, which was not really an event. It was just a, a hang. They hijacked it to discuss how they both beat COVID, how bad it was, and how no one in the history of the world will ever understand the struggles that they went through. Not AIDS, not cancer, not those pussies with ALS. I go, I haven't had it. I said, I've been being relatively careful. I said, I got very sick in March. I had all of the symptoms. I had tightness in the chest. I had chills. I woke up in the middle of the night. I couldn't really leave the bed. I was exhausted. I could make it from my bed to my couch. Maybe I lost smell. I don't really know, but I know that my taste was all fucked up. I could barely eat. It took me three and a half weeks to get my things back. And then they look at you and they go, no, you didn't have it. You would know if you had it. This doesn't even feel organic. It's a bioweapon that you do battle with. And they're literally doing like Cobra Kai moves in the yard about how COVID, they're like, you think you're good and then it hits you from the side and then you double over and then you have to kick and you have to, it hits you again. And I'm like, what? And then I'm like, well, other people get really sick. You know, my friend's mother had pancreatic cancer. She fought that for 10 years. And they're like, fuck that bitch. I had COVID. You don't understand. It's a bioweapon. They act like they defeated the Chinese military with this. You can't even get a word in edgewise with these people. You can't say that other people get sick. People die of cancer. How about Ebola? I mean, these fucking cunts will go to Africa. People bleeding out of their eyes. There's lepers on the thing, and they go, you don't know about COVID. I couldn't taste my hot dog. This whole thing, we know how bad COVID is. We know how much it fucks people up. I've had friends tell me how, 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 how bad it has been for them, both physically and mentally. I understand that. Dan Carney, for example, my opener who's had it, is now occasionally tired. But is one of the symptoms that you have to discuss it for seven months afterwards, is there any let up here? And then they tell you, they're like, this is how I beat it. I sat in a room and I just went, I'm going to beat it. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to beat it. And they're like, you don't even understand the what you go through, the mental fitness you have to have. And I'm like, yeah, okay. But again, my friend's mother fought a death sentence, pancreatic cancer, for 10 years. It's unheard of. So this idea that the only thing in the world that anyone, the, 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 the mark of a man is that he beat COVID. The mark of a man, the mark of a soldier. They're like, China tried to take Hong Kong with this bioweapon. <laughs> I beat it, but it's tough. Like, yeah, my friend's mother has brain cancer. <laughs> she doesn't know. She walks in a wall. She can't see anything. She's losing her sight in one eye. <laughs> this is like nothing that's ever been. I had COVID, okay? I don't want to hear about your hemorrhagic fever. Your Ebola. Boo. Fuck that bitch! I had COVID! 